Hi, I'm John Pullman, professional boxing trainer, owner of Pullman's Gym in Northridge, California, and this is Pullmanomics. Okay, so here we are in our trap series. We're still working on different uh, traps and tricks to kind of use setups and, and, and run your opponent into uh, different moves that you want to accomplish. And today we're going to talk about using the left hook in different ways to set traps with the le left hook from an offensive um, perspective. So I have Josh right here. He's going to help us and Magi. He's a left-handed boxing stance. He's going to be in a right-handed boxing stance. And first thing we're going to go over is, is using a double left hook or for a left-hander, it'll be a double right hook. So if you're left-handed, you can watch how Josh does it. If you're right-handed, you can watch how Magi does it. That can help you. Um, but for example, if Josh in his boxing stance, and we're at kind of like a mid-range or a little bit closer quarter um, combat position, the hook is going to be pretty more effective, usually, from this range. So the first one we're going to do is he's going to throw a double uh, right hook, but he's going to start with the head. So the way you want to do this, you want to set it up, you want to touch up top. The first one is not as hard as the second one because in your mind, the, the second shot is going to be the one you really want. So he's going to kind of touch up top, then he's going to dig to the body see, right there. He's going to touch up top, bang, bang. And the way he does it is he, he touches here from, he doesn't really have to shift too much because he's not trying to put too much power on the first one. So he just, boom. And the second one, he makes more of a shift. And this happens really fast when you get good at it, so it doesn't look so big. And the way he shifts is he kind of turns his back foot a little bit. Here, turn his back foot and then drop and dig to the body. Mickey Ward does this really good. Body shot again. That's the body shot. Irish Mickey Ward. He'll touch up top, <laughs> dig the body. It's a really nice shot. Same thing here. We're at Magi, right? He's going to touch up top, touch, dig. Good. Again. Nice. Again. You see how their, their feet, their back foot is, is shifting in position for the second hook. And then watch both of them, they're protecting themselves after as well. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Touch. Bang. Rip. So you get the person thinking about hitting them up top. So they raise their hand up top, right? I raise my hand up top to block this, and I open up all this down here. Boom. So that's the idea, right? The other thing is, and it works against a right-hander or a left-hander, right? Because if I'm right-handed here, if I'm left-handed, I rub hip here. So it works the same way, either way. Now you can reverse this and go to the body first, and it works a similar idea. He was my body first. I use my elbow to try to block that, opening up my face here. So he's going to touch the body, and he throw the one to the head a little quicker, harder. And it works the same how he shifts his foot a little bit in between. Boom, shit bang. Good. So he's going to go to the body first. Boom, bang. Now the one to the body is not as hard as the head one, right? Touch, bang. Good. Easy. Bang. Right. Easy. Fish. So you're working your way up. Easy. Fish. Fish. Yeah. Fish. Yeah. Caleb Plant did this really good against Uzgatagi when they fought for his first world title. Touch his body, bang. Come up quick. Make him think low, bang, come up high. Boom, bang, good. Touch, bang, a lot of it's in the back foot. Boom, bang, before you throw the second one, you turn that back foot. Turn that back foot, you touch, turn, and it loads up your second hook. Fish, right. Body, fish, good. So that's some good kind of double hooks for you to uh, practice. So now we're going to still work on a trap using the, the hook, but we're going to kind of uh, show you another way to do it. So I got these guys in their boxing stances again, left-hander and a right-hander. So Josh is in his boxing stance, right? And what he's going to do, he's going to, instead of just truly using the hook to, for, as bait, like the first hook I was using the other one, this is the bait, boom, then he you know, traps me with the body, like sets me up. Now he's just going to kind of use his eyes from mid-range, right? He's going to look like, he's going to look up top, he's going to shift without bending over. Because when you go to the body, a lot of times you get a little lower in your legs, right? But instead of bending over with his legs, he's going to just turn, but keep his legs in the same way that it is like if he's going to throw a hook to the head. So he shifts, right? Now I don't know what's coming. I'm thinking, he's looking at my head, he's in position to shoot a hook right to my head, 
But what he's going to do is he's going to throw it to the body. Bang, at the last second, he's going to turn into a body hook. I'm thinking Canelo does this really good. I'm thinking head hook, and that's exactly what he wants me to think. And it hits me in the stomach. I'm thinking head hook, I'm thinking head hook, and that's exactly what he wants me to think. Good. It's really subtle. Like it's hard to even tell unless you're engaging with the person. And he might even, he might even throw a hook to the head one time. Right, now you got me thinking about that. Now I'm thinking that again. Good, so he throws a hook to the head one time. Then he looks up. Right there. The head. Good, see he didn't throw it that hard. That's cool too, play around with it. Yes. The head. Good. Yes, I'm thinking head and he's thinking body. That's a beautiful trap. You could reverse it, right? He might touch the body one time by itself. Good, not even that hard. He didn't even, he's thinking, a, he's thinking a few moves ahead like chess. He's not even thinking about that one. Here, good. Then he gets, now he dips down low, kind of like the look down trap, and it's a hook up top. Yeah, I'm thinking body, he's thinking head. Easy here, touch the body. Now he's thinking in the future, right? He's defending himself. He looks down, good. I'm thinking body, he's thinking head. Touch, so it's a, it's a trap but that takes a little bit more time to develop than a just fast double hook. They're both great. They're both good traps with the hook. Good. Good. And he's going to touch the head. Good. I'm thinking head. He's thinking body. Good. Head. Now he's thinking body hard. Good. So there's another good way of using your hook to set some nice tricks and traps on your opponent. Okay, so if you have a heavy bag that you have access to, it's really nice for you to be able to practice these traps because it gives you time to sit with it yourself. Nobody's absolutely maybe directing you exactly or holding something and making you do it on their timing. You can practice these traps and set them up yourself and take the time you need to really practice executing these traps. So that's why I like working on the heavy bag a lot, especially when you're practicing traps. So here we have Josh. Left-handed stance, Magi, right-handed boxing stance. And we're gonna practice, continue practicing tr those tra that, 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 that hook trap. So they're both they're gonna start with, they're gonna touch up top and then dig the body. Right, so Josh is gonna play around with this position. He's gonna touch up top and then dig the body. And then he's gonna touch up top, dig the body. Good, get it underneath. And you gotta change your arm angle a little bit as opposed to now how I was holding the pillow. It's giving them like a, a nicer angle. The bag is, is more like a person. They're not necessarily going to cooperate. But you, they're practicing their shift and their foot and their arm angle is going to be a little different. Each person, the way they move, you're going to have to adjust to them too. Head, body. Now we're going to go body, head practicing. Touch. Bang. Good. You're practicing your double hooks. Good. Double hook. Yep. Touch. Bang. Good. They're making sure that they're in a good good position, their defense is on point, they're defending themselves before and after, body head. Ish. Now go head body again. Ish. Head body. Bop, bop. Head body. Bop, bop. Head body. Bop, bop. Good. Now they're going to back up a little bit and they're going to use a, a easy hook to the head maybe, right? Shoot a hook up top, make him think about it, good. And he's gonna look up and he's thinking head, he's thinking body. Good, touch, right? Takes his time, good. Then he digs downstairs, Canelo. Good, dig downstairs, dig downstairs. Good, hard hook downstairs. So you're using your body and you're positioning the full. Now shoot a hard one up top. Hard one up top, good. They're thinking that body, you're thinking head. They're thinking body, you're thinking head. Good, so see how they're like finding their groove. It's good, this is very important, it's very nice. Good, so they, the bag is really nice to practice these hooks, tri these tricks and traps with the hook. Watch it go right back to the body. 